But anxiety is something I've struggled with for a long time. And the thing about struggling with something for a long time is it has a way of forcing you to figure out what to do about it. Anxiety is a worldwide problem. It is a problem where our own biology, which was designed to ensure our survival as hunters and gatherers, is sabotaging our bodies and minds. When we feel fear or stress, our body releases cortisol, which is a stress hormone. This cortisol release is part of a fight or flight response. Back in the day, it enabled us to do things like jump out of the way of an attacking predator or a falling rock. In today's world, those kinds of dangers aren't as relevant. But even though they aren't relevant, we still have the same biological reaction to stress. Anytime we perceive danger, our body reacts the same way it would if our survival were at risk and our fight or flight response is triggered. The body releases cortisol when we get cut off on the highway. Our body releases cortisol when we think about being unable to pay the bills on time. Our body releases cortisol when we are approached by our boss. What's more, our body releases cortisol every time we think a fearful thought. Basically, instead of our modern lives being less stressful, they're an absolute minefield of stress-inducing scenarios. This means that cortisol, the stress hormone, is wreaking havoc on us in our day-to-day lives. Elevated cortisol levels doesn't just affect the way we feel emotionally. It interferes with learning and memory. It lowers immune function and bone density. It causes an increase in weight gain, blood pressure, cholesterol, and heart disease. It can trigger other mental illnesses. It increases the likelihood of depression. And it lowers our resiliency.